good morning children in the last class we had seen what are the various uh, disorders means how uh, crossing over takes place and how there is mutation how what are the causes for mutation what are the types of mutations what are co-mutagens today we will see disorders we know that it is because of the mutations that there are disorders so if we consider as disorders disorders mean there is a certain uncertainty means things are not right there is a uh, certain uh, problem in that it is a disorder so there are basically two types of disorders one is mendelian disorders and other is chromosomal disorders so why we say mendelian disorders is that it is because of only one gene if the mutation is taking place it is happening because of one gene and if it's a chromosomal disorder means the entire chromosome is involved in that chromosome so if the entire chromosome is involved so that's why one gene will not be there it will be more than one gene more than one gene then if it's a mendelian disorders obviously they will follow mendelian principles that is dominant recessive mendelian principles but it does not follow does not follow mendelian principles it does not follow mendelian principles then in if it's a mendelian uh, disorders mendelian inheritance chromosomal inheritance means it's a disorder which is being inherited so so that's why it, that's why i have given the term as disorders and not as a inheritance we know that disorders means disorders will be inherited so it will be inherited the chromosomal disorder will also be inherited and the mendelian disorder is also inherited so it uh, and in this mendelian disorders it can be dominant either the dominant will express itself or the recessive will express itself that is the recessive gene can also express itself but in the case of chromosomal disorder it is always the dominant one it is always the dominant one which will express itself like in mendelian inheritance we can give the example of sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia hemophilia color blindness so many okay and for chromosomal inheritance can we give the example for turner syndrome that is turner syndrome so basically this is the difference between mendelian disorders and the chromosomal disorders now we will see one by one what are the mendelian disorders like if it is a sickle cell anemia so what are the disorders in sickle cell anemia what does what takes place in sickle cell anemia like the uh, we know that sickle cell anemia means from the name itself we are getting that the cell will be sickle shaped that's me that means the rbc's okay the, the in that the it will be share the shape will be a sickle shell shape okay so if it is a sickle cell shape then what are the reasons why there is a sickle cell anemia why the shape is being changed why because in the sixth position glutamic acid should be synthesized glutamic acid but instead of glutamic acid valine is synthesized instead of glutamic acid valine is synthesized gug and GAG and instead of GUG, GAG is being synthesized. So, GUG, GAG, only one GUG, GAG. We can see there is only one base pair, only one base is being deleted. So, it is because of one base only this takes place, sickle cell anemia takes place. And sickle cell anemia, it, if it occurs in the heterozygote state, like we know that hemoglobin uh, rbc is become sickle shell if it is this way suppose it's an x this is a female she is the carrier for it it's in the heterozygous state we can see it's the heterozygous state one is the 
only in this of the allele only one is a carrier of that allele so it is a heterozygous state so uh, and the other if we are seeing that if if sickle cell anemia if it occurs in the homozygous state then only it will show its trait but if it is in the heterozygous state it will be in its recessive form means it will be a carrier it will only show itself when both the alleles are carrying the uh, trait for the sickle cell anemia and if the person is sick, uh, suffering from sickle cell anemia the naturally the we know that the rbc's are biconcave in case of the sickle cell patient the rbc's become sickle cell so oxygen carrying capacity also decreases because the surface area decreases so if such person goes for high altitudes he may experience difficulty in breathing but it takes place in the suppose if that person is a, in the malaria prone zone in those areas that sickle cell anemia person will survive because the parasite it fails to uh, multiply in sickle cell anemia uh, patients the rbc is there he, he will fail to survive the mosquitoes malaria mosquitoes this is about sickle cell anemia now color blindness also similarly color blindness this color blindness is also a recessive trait color blindness is also a recessive trait see if it's a recessive trait we can there are two types actually if we are going for a recessive trait suppose color blindness it is carried in the x gene x gene is the carrier for color blindness suppose this is the female she is the female xx chromosome and a normal male a normal male a mating takes place so what are the possibilities of the offsprings one is a carrier then other is a color blind then other is a normal child normal female and a normal male so we can see that there are four possibilities see because it's a carrier if one offspring is a female child she is a carrier here we can say because x is the one which will carry that trait so it is in that x chromosome so this child the male child becomes affected and here we are getting two normal progenies means they are not having the problem for color blindness so this is present this color blindness gene is present in the x chromosomes and the mother becomes the carrier for that she is the carrier it is only a uh, in the case like if she is transferring to the male child the progeny then of the progeny if it's a male the ch child will be a color blind child otherwise uh, females are not affected both females though two daughters she is having it is just an example in which one is the normal and other that is the carrier it is in place of color blindness color blindness these patients are uh, unable to differentiate between the color red and green that's why it is known as the red green color blindness color blindness then sim similarly phenyl ketonuria phenyl ketonuria this phenyl ketonuria what is happening phenyl ketonuria if it is a uh, phenyl alanine phenyl alanine if this if this is present in the urine of the affected person this uh, phenyl alanine in ma maximum cases uh, the, that is present in our cases also phenyl alanine it is being converted into tyrosine it is being converted into tyrosine uh, so in uh, ke patients who are uh, suffering from ke phenyl ketonuria phenyl alanine is unable to change into tyrosine it is not changing into tyrosine that's why phenyl alanine what happens it keeps accumulating in the urine it keeps accumulating that it, in the body also it keeps accumulating that will affect and it will uh, accumulate in the uh, brain also and it will lead to mental retardation of the child till 6 months nothing is being observed but after 6 months we can observe that yes the child is suffering from phenyl ketonuria in the urine also some of the phenyl alanine is being liberated next what we will see is that muscular dystrophy this is also a genetical disorders see in uh, chromosomal disorders if we see the maximum of the cases what are that those are autosomal dominant trait 
and autosomal recessive means the uh, disorder it is present in the autosomes not the sex chromosomes it is present in the autosomes so what has happened it is due to the abnormal behavior in the autosome that uh, if it is dominant it will show itself if it is if it is recessive it will be uh, lying as a carrier means if it is dominant uh, trait that means both the alleles it should show that the same character both the alleles should carry the same character then only it will show itself express itself autosomal dominant and if it is an autosomal recessive any one of the allele they can be a carrier for that disease so these two traits are also be observed autosomal dominant and autosomal recessive and this trait we can uh, observe uh, in the case of pedigree analysis which we will see now we had seen the mendelian disorders now chromosomal disorders chromosomal disorders chromosomal disorders means it will occur in the chromosomes in the chromosomes if you remember in the uh, during crossing over i had mentioned a term known as non disjunction i use the term as non disjunction means non disjunction of chromosomes non disjunction of chromosomes means chromosomes fail to separate when the chromosomes fail to separate where during my anaphase stage what will happen one of the gametes will get a larger portion another will get a smaller portion because the chromosomes are failing to separate this is because non disjunction of chromosomes this is also one of the reasons there are chromosomal disorders chromosomal disorders mentioned in your book are klinefelter syndrome klinefelter syndrome turner syndrome and down syndrome klinefelter syndrome is x x y this is what is happening because it is if the person the child who is affected by klinefelter syndrome their genotype will be xxy in the chromosome sex chromosomes there will be a one extra x it happens due to non disjunction of chromosome chromosomes fail to separate and due to this what will happen they will be a normal uh, they will be a male a male but they will have uh, sexual characters of the female means breast will be enlarged there will be slightly breast the male will be a sterile male uh, intelligence will be normal but uh, due to a uh, presence of an extra sex there will be some secondary sexual characters which will be similar to the female in klinefelter syndrome next in the turner syndrome here what we are having uh, what is happening is either du during the gamete formation one will be a sterile male or other could be a uh, one of the gametes will be non functional in case of male or the female so the child gets is that xo that means this is non functional this is non functional so there is basically there is only one x chromosome so what happened the females which are affected by turner syndrome they will be of short stature then they will be having webbed neck intelligence will be normal but uh, they will be sterile males uh, uh, genital organs will be less developed it will be non functional means they won't be able to conceive because as we can see here also there is only one x chromosome then both are happening in the sex chromosomes down syndrome it is happening in the 21st chromosome 21st chromosome there is trisomy trisomy means one extra chromosome is added in the 21st chromosome so this ch the child children who will be affected by down syndrome it was being discovered by the scientist langdon down and hence the name down syndrome the child who will be affected by this will be having furrowed tongue broad forehead mentally retarded children mouth will be partially open palm creases will be there and uh, the, these children will be uh, mental uh, intelligence will be very low in case of person uh, children suffering from down syndrome but uh, these are all the chromosomal disorders now we will see what is pedigree analysis why these chromosomal disorders can be uh, can be prevented if one analyzes the family traits or the family history of the people 
So, what is pedigree analysis? Pedigree analysis means pedigree. Pedigree analysis. Pedigree analysis means there is an analysis from generation to generation. In humans, we can maximum we can see till three or four generations because uh, it, they will go for a much larger lifespan. A lifespan of humans is very large. Some people can live uh, uh, up to 100 years, some can uh, surpass even 100 years. So it is very difficult to analyze uh, the characteristics in case of humans. As we experiment in flies and other organisms, for humans it is very difficult. So there are various traits. For two, three generations, we can go for the traits. And when these traits are analyzed, we come to know that what will be the, uh, whether the progeny will suffer from any disease or not. It is due to the help of pedigree analysis only we can find out. For There are some symbols which are used in pedigree analysis. Like this denotes square. A square denotes male. A circle denotes female. A diamond, it denotes sex, unspecified. Then suppose a miniature circle, miniature uh, square is being uh, uh, drawn, that means the child has died in, in the infancy stage only the child has died. Then a horizontal square, it denotes mating, it horizontal uh, uh, line, it denotes mating, a double horizontal uh, line denotes that is mating between relatives, means marriage has taken place between relatives. Then a vertical line, it will denote the progeny, what the children, it will denote the progeny, this vertical line and hence it will follow, this will denote the progeny, this will denote mating and sometimes what we will see that it is shaded half, it is half shaded means it is the carrier, this one is the carrier. So we had seen the autosomal dominant, autosome recessive, X-linked recessive trait, Y-linked recessive trait. If it is an autosomal dominant trait, these are the various signs and symbols which we will be using in the pedigree analysis. Now we, I will just give you one example for that. Like suppose a mating has been done with, between a male and this is she is the affected female, the progeny the progeny. So what we are seeing is that in the if the male, if the male is being uh, mated with the female, she is an affected female. In this generation, we are seeing that the male is being affected and here we are seeing that it is half shaded. That means she is the carrier. Now if the affected male marries a normal female then again if we are getting if they are having three children of which again what we are seeing is that this is being passed on here she is being get she is getting then suppose one of the child is not getting this child has got so what we understand from that in each generation every generation you are seeing that the disease is being seen that means it is autosome dominant because in every generation the trait appears, the disease condition appears irrespective of the sex of the child. That means it is carried by a autosomal gene. So it is autosomal character, autosomal dominant character, the disease. But if some cases what you will see is that it is autosomal recessive gene. That means if suppose the, she is the uh, affected female, this generation this generation all are normal, this generation all are normal but in the next generation it will show itself. That means it is an autosomal recessive disease. In one generation it is lying in the dormant form but in the other generation it is affected. That means it is a autosomal recessive form and next we are seeing is the X linked recessive form. This is the female, suppose we take it for color blindness, color blindness female female rarely female is a colorblind female mostly they are carriers 
it is very rare that the female will be a color blind female it can only take place if the father and the uh, father is the color blind father and the mother is the carrier then only the female will be a color blind female or else she will always be a carrier so if she is a carrier female what we observe is that when uh, four progeny she is having one one could be a carrier one could be a normal then the male is affected the male is affected both the males of the uh, females they are affected can it be we will see like if suppose she is the carrier and she marries a normal male one child will be a carrier female one child will be a color blind and one will be a normal that's what i was telling one will be a normal male this any time you have doubt you can just cross and see so what we are having if we are seeing for color blindness what we are seeing that she is a carrier and this person is the affected it is happening because of the x link recessive gene and y link recessive trait means it is carried by the uh, y it is carried by the y genes and this trait is very rare mostly it is the x link recessive trait which we are seeing y link recessive trait is a very rare trait so till now we had seen or everything because chromosomal disorders mendelian disorders now we will go for a quick sum up of all the things which we have taught till now okay children so there are two types of genetic disorders mendelian disorders chromosomal disorders mendelian disorders are disorders means which are caused by a single gene or due to the abnormalities in the genome they will be present since the child's birth and it can be predicted from the history of the family with the help of a family tree hence the need for the pedigree analysis and these genetic uh, disorders are quite rare it may affect one person in every thousands or millions it may or may not be inherited these usually occur in non heritable genetic disorders defects are generally caused by new mutations or due to some changes in the dna for instance cancer may either be caused by an inherited genetic condition or by a new mutation which is caused by the environmental causes types of mendelian disorders sickle cell anemia red green color blindness cystic fibrosis hemophilia phenylketonuria hemophilia is the disorder in which there is no blood clotting the blood fails to clot it is also known as the royal disease which was found in queens victoria's families the male mostly the male is being affected in hemophilia the male higher is affected because they used to perform marriage between relatives hemophilia the clotting factor is missing that enzyme and hence they bleed to death it's a mendelian disorder sickle cell anemia we had seen sixth uh, position of the beta globin change uh, the glutamic acid is replaced by valine that's why it reduces the oxygen binding capacity of the hemoglobin then red green color blindness it is being passed from parents it is uh, the gene is responsible on the x chromosome more males are affected and females are usually the carriers cystic fibrosis again it's an autosomal recessive disorder it affects the disease affects the lungs and the digestive system and then the body produces thick and sticky mucus that blocks the lungs and pancreas people suffering from this disorder have a very short life span hemophilia which we have discussed just now in which what happens the blood does not clot normally it is a genetic disorder which is located on the x chromosome therefore males are more frequently affected because uh, the uh, they are having only one x chromosome and it is very rare in females because for female to get the disease the mother should be a hemophilic and carrier but the father should be hemophilic which does not happen very it's a very rare case phenylketonuria again it's a autosomal recessive in nature the amino acid phenylalanine in which it uh, fails to convert the affected person fails to convert phenylalanine to tyrosine that's why accumulation takes place in the body and it results in mental retardation then autosomal chromosomal disorders we have seen down syndrome trisomy occurs in the copy of 21st chromosome and the person is short has a small and round head and furrowed tongue partially open mouth sexual chromosomal disorders two types klinefelter's and turner syndrome klinefelter's it is a result of 47 chromosome 44 plus xxy person is masculine but with feminine development these individuals are sterile they cannot reproduce 
in clen fintos there is an absence of x chromosomes in females they have rudimentary ovaries and it's the absence of secondary sexual characters the pedigree analysis which we had seen the various uh, signs for that so children today's topic with today's topic we finish this chapter i hope you have understood and followed what we we have taught today i have taught today it has been understood and for your comfort please stay home and stay safe and follow what is being taught